Today we're speedrunning through a few games in the Grow series, Grow Island, Grow RPG, and Grow Cube. But of course, we're starting out with Grow Island, and we'll start our timer as soon as we hit the screw, and then also get this miner dude. He's gonna make a road for our island, and yeah, it looks pretty good, even though it's just a circle, so I don't really know why we need it. But then we're gonna get some wood, and our robot is now gonna be able to pave it. But this is also the perfect time to explain what exactly this game is. Basically, you have something to grow, in this one, it's an island, and you have a bunch of materials that you can use to do that. But you have to place the materials in the correct order, otherwise you won't get the best ending. Of course, for the speedrun, we're placing them all in the correct order, like we just put engineering down there, and now my dude has a gigantic robot, which is just slicing an area off the land. So now we have a port. And as we go through, different things are going to level up, just like those logs, and now we also have a woman here. So our guy is gonna go over there. He kinda is a little creepy with this, but he does something a little romantic, where he makes a river, and that's going to make flowers so he can give it to her. Of course, this is going going to make them fall in love probably because they're the only two people on the island, so there's not much competition, and it will level up that house. Next, we're finally gonna get a car, but we don't really drive it anywhere. It just kind of goes around in circles, and we'll get some electrical engineering. And my dude now has a family. He has both his wife and his son, so he's doing pretty good, and he has more motivation to grow his island. He's gonna get back in the robot, and now what he's gonna do is he's going to build a tunnel through this part of the island, which I don't really see why this is useful, but at the same time, I don't really see why the road is useful either so I guess it is what it is but hey we now have that some more stuff is going to level up and we get a boat the boat will be useful because there's an island in the background of the map and because of that we can get this potion the potion is going to be useful later but we don't have to worry about it right now now we're going to get a computer and our robot is going to level up again and for some reason it can just lay down this gigantic road and bridge and it's kind of amazing then our dude is going to fall down with the power of love and we have a really good island like it's looking really nice we also have our wife and kid you know they're just doing some stuff while I'm doing literally all the work. I mean, I guess she has to take care of the kids, so I can't judge her too much. But here's where we're gonna get a rocket ship, which blasts off into space, or fake space. Yeah, I don't really know what that's supposed to be, but there is an alien, and we steal some water from them. So finally, at this point, the volcano is going to erupt. But instead of what you think, it has that thing come out of it. Oh. <laughs> I don't really know what to think about that, but it is finally time to get applied chemistry and do our very last thing. You'll see our robot evolved into whatever that thing is, and our wife and kid is happy to see us, and our kid almost kills us. Yeah, he's kind of an idiot, but we're gonna build a little bridge and then have a picnic because, you know, we're having a great time. This is also when our electrical engineering levels up, and it's going to cause everything to upgrade, including our gigantic robot, and now we have a train for some reason, but the train is going to drop off the final potion and all three of them are going to be able to mix together and make a rainbow potion. That is going to be delivered into the robot along with our computer science and then it makes living things. I guess? Yeah, it's kind of insane. But that is about the end of the speedrun, so we can end off time as soon as we see congratulations, and there we go, 357. Now our next speedrun is going to be Grow RPG, and as you can see, we have a hero at the bottom and a demon at the top of the map. So the basic idea for the game is to level up our hero enough so he's able to defeat the demon. Now the demon's gonna do things like just hollow out the earth, which is kind of insane, but we're gonna continue adding things like a tree right there, it's going to hollow things out again, then we get a castle, so that's also gonna be nice, and things will level up as they go, you know, kind of just normal stuff. But he's hollowed out our earth too much, so at this point, we're gonna add water, and it's actually looking pretty good. Different things are gonna grow, the castle and the tree, and here's where we're gonna add a tower, which is going to be very useful later on. Just some more leveling up, you know, pretty much the normal stuff. You do have to wait through all that, but here is where something interesting happens. He's going to make a purple goo. That's going to be one of our enemies later, but for now, we're not too worried about it. We're gonna place down some rocks, level some things up, and just have a good time. But oh wait, he's placing down another goo, and that one's gonna be blue, and the purple goo will upgrade itself. So things are looking a little bit tougher, but we do have the perfect defenses. We also now have a chest at the top of a mountain guarded by a rock, so you know something's gonna be good in there. Finally, he'll place the yellow goo, and both the other goos will upgrade. Then the purple goo actually goes to attack the castle. Now the guards try their best, but can't really do too much, so the king comes out, and they have an amazing fight where they knock into each other multiple times before the goo monster is able to use fire, and then the king uses a 
electricity to get the blue orb, which is going to be very useful later on. Finally, we're going to place a dungeon and that's going to be nice as well. So at this point, all we have to do is wait for things to level up. That guy goes and places the blue goo over there and we're gonna have to get there later. And the tower is going to finish upgrading. Everything is good and we have level max on everything. At this point, our hero now has to go on a journey to get all of his upgrades. He's gonna go here, steal some money and a sword from this old man. I don't know if he was allowed to do that, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna take out that goo. It was really easy and we steal its money too. Then we go to the castle and we see the king is really weak, so he's very easy to steal from. Thank you for the money and the key, which then moves us on to the shop and we're able to pay the 30 gold to go over here. Here's where we're gonna use a boat and make it to the tree that we placed way earlier. And for some reason it has bombs on it. So that's kind of amazing. Next, we're gonna go up to the tower and because we allowed it to evolve so much, there's a ton of stairs and we finally make it to the top to get some really good armor. So you can see when we're fighting this blue goo, he's not really a problem. We beat him easily. After that, we're going down to the dungeon and here there are gonna be two chests. First of all, there's gonna be this normal one, which gives us money and we don't really care about. But then there's another one, which gives us the blue goo, which like I said, is going to be very useful. But before that, we do have to fight the purple monster and he's actually pretty strong. He has a lot of health points. And then he's also gonna use this attack, which is breathing fire at us and we die. But the king actually saves us somehow with electricity and we win. I feel like I should be dead, but whatever, I don't really care. We're gonna finally use the bomb and go to the top of the mountain to get the sword at the end. And it is finally time to face off against the demon. Now the demon's gonna come down, but thankfully we have the blue orb and we use that on him to make him blue, which makes him weaker for some reason. Then we just have a regular fight where we just knock into each other multiple times. You know, this is the most beautiful combat you've ever seen in your life. He's gonna try to use his fire breath, but it doesn't really do too much to me. He'll try one more time and then we can finally finish him off and we beat the game. So that time is going to be a 352. Now we can finally move on to our last speed run, Grow Cube. Right at the beginning, we're gonna start the game by setting down a human and setting down some water because I guess he needs to drink from somewhere. He's gonna go hollow out the cube and dig deep. So then he gets a geyser and now he has drinking water. Hooray for him. So he's having a pretty good time, but he doesn't have food yet. So we're gonna place down some plants, even though they don't really look like that yet. And we're gonna get another person who helps us hollow out things. And now we have a river. After that, we're gonna get a little bit of a bowl and different things are going to grow. The area is actually green, so that's pretty nice. And we also have another person. We're all gonna work together to hollow out this entire cube and make it a place where we actually wanna live. Then after that, we're gonna place this tube for some reason. You know, it's kind of just sitting there right now, but eventually it has a purpose. It just doesn't have a clear one right now. But we're gonna do some more hollowing out, get a nice flower vase, and of course, more things are gonna level up. And now we actually have something where we can make a potion. We also have a fire, so we can put the pot on the fire, and that's going to be nice. Because, you know, you can't really make a potion if you don't have heat, I guess. But after that, we're gonna place a bowl, and that's also gonna be nice, because, I mean, I guess we have a bowl now. But we're gonna go through, do some different things, so we have some easier platforming and make our potion even better. One guy is also going to take this fire and go into the cave with it so we can actually see in there. I don't know why we hollowed it out earlier because we couldn't even see, but hey, now we have a nice cave. Then we do some more stuff, more things level up, and everything's looking amazing. I mean, we're doing really well for ourselves. Oh, I forgot to mention we put a bone at the start of the cube. That's interesting. But then we place some springs and those are also going to be nice. The bone is going to transform into a fossil, which I don't really know how that works. But hey, it works for us. We're going to add some more stuff into the potion and everything is working amazingly because now we have a golden ball. We're also going to place the regular pink ball in the tube and finally we get to see why that's useful. Now what we're going to do is our guy is going to take the golden ball and put it into the water and now we don't have drinking water anymore but it's golden so I mean that's pretty cool. One guy is going to take the skull and this is kind of hilarious because it turns into a gigantic lizard monster. That's interesting. But then finally what we can do is we can push the ball all the way through the map you can see the different things like the springs are going to make it jump and finally once it makes it to the end it will land on the lizard's head and it will give us congratulations we won the speed run yeah this was definitely the weirdest one out of all of them but hey if you want to see more of these gross series speed runs subscribe